Hello world, this is Bustle290, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your own text encryption app in C-Sharp. This is a simple app we're going to code that will take a text string, <coughs> sorry, encrypt it using AES encryption, scramble it to bytes, and then save, save it to a file so that we can encrypt it using a password. So let's get started. In Visual Studio, what you're going to want to do is create a new is create a new Windows Forms app. Then, for the project name, I'm just going to name this ENC for tutorial, but you can name it whatever you want. Click create, and this will open up a new Windows Forms app. Now, what we're going to want to do is basically just put a tech, a rich text box. one button that'll say encrypt and one that'll say decrypt oh, oh sorry that Then we're going to want to put one more text box where we'll, we'll have the user type and the password. So you should have something that looks similar to this. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to, now first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the algorithm that our program will use to encrypt the text. This is probably going to be the most complex part of the tutorial, so let's get it knocked out. Knocked out. Add. Right click on your right click on your project. Click Add. New item. And then class, and we'll just name it Encryptor. So once you have this, here's the code that we will first, first thing we're going to do is we're going to encode the message to base 64. Then code it to AES from there. Class encryptor, encryptor, we're going to create a public static key. IV equals string. Sorry about that. IV equals, and there's our string, and then public. Then And what this is doing is creating the characters we're going to use, the various characters we're going to use to encode our, our key. And then there we, and then there we go. We're gonna create a public static string for encrypt. So type as I type just there.
Now we'll create the base 64 uh, mechanism. Sorry, I've not done very many coding tutorials before, so this might show that. Quite the clerk. You want to make sure to include that uh, library. Nice thing about Visual Studio is it'll tell you what li it'll look up what libraries you're you're trying to add via the code, and then it will. suggest those libraries to you. And now let's create the key. This is so we just created the key that will scramble our our text. So what we just did was we just created the mechanism that will take the string we put into our text box that which we'll be making later on and then and and then scrambled it using an encryption key. It made it will be converted to base64 but also locked by AES so it can't so it'll only decode from base64 to bytes which without the key will will be inaccessible now what we want to do is create the process to con to chant to, to unencrypt it decrypt it or change it back from the encrypted message to regular text it's going to come up with an error message here because we haven't created the password in form one yet that we're going to input here. But once we input that after finishing this, this error should go away. Then what we're also going to do is we're going to type in string check. This will check the password to make sure it is correct. And then we're going to set an option for what will happen if these two strings and if var check and var password are equal to each other if check password Then we will now code the decryption process for what happens if these two strings are equal to each other.
then what we're going to also going to do we just made the method that our program will that our program will use to decrypt the text but what we can also do is make sure no one's trying to impersonate the file by later on we're going to add another string that will that will verify it is the original file so that no one can make a fake text file and then paste the message in and then fool the program into giving them the message. We'll create these strings later in form one. Or if those two things are not equal. So now, uh, it can detect if that's the original file because we're going to put a string into the original file that our helper program be able to detect if it is the original file or an imposter file that someone's trying to use to break into our message. Now, a pretty fair enough or portion of our work is actually done now. What we want to do now is go back to form1.cs double click on the encrypt button then above here type public static string password then enter button one dot click type now to actually write the message to the to the file which will create a new text file and put our encrypted message into it file We're just going to put this file on. We're just going to put this file on the root of the C drive and name it, and then write the string to it. And then there we go. Now what we need to do is implement the code for our decrypt button. Read that we're sending it to read the text from the file, from the encrypted from the file we created and wrote our encrypted message to. Now we're now we've coded our decrypt button. What we're gonna do is code our that this is code this test text box to input our password and compare it to the password and the to input the password to the encryption pr program that will be typed in here so it compare it so it can compare the strings i'm going to go back here make another text box sorry put this one to the left password name a string put a new string called password check called oh no wait, verify text box Is that a verify? So now that we've created those two forms, everything here should check out. We just want to return encrypted here. We 
should be good to go. There's just one last thing we want to do. Put labels here that will say date. Set password. Set password. And one label here that will say enter password. Enter password. And then what we did was we're going to enter the password to set in this box and then enter the password to open the file in this text box. Now let's run our program. Oh, I, I just realized I need to start Visual Studio as administrator. One minute. There we go. Now I should have no problems. And uh, we're just going to say, hello, this is encryption test. Set our password here. It's going to put it set at like one, two, three, then click encrypt. Sorry, sm sorry, small, mis small mistake with these strings right here. Let's try that again. These are the actual strings. Sorry about that. Hello, encrypted text test. Set our password, it's going to put one, two, three, four, encrypt. And as you can see, it just created our encrypted message. Now, what we can do, now what we're going to want to do to change it back is co edit copy. It created the file, put our encrypted message into it. Now what we want to do is go back to the program, edit copy, edit paste the encrypted text, Oh, sorry, we forgot to. I had, we need. We actually need to add the ability to to add the ability for a copy paste option. So we're going to need to type it in exactly as it is here. Equals. Now let's type in the password we set before. Here. Click the crypt. So what you want to do is type both your password and both password you set before, both here and in there. And there we go. It just decrypted it. So sorry, this video was a little rough. I I haven't done many programming tutorials before. So this is one of my first times ever. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 290 and I'm signing off. Have a nice day and I'll see you next video.